Rivers have always held a central role in the flow of civilization. They were pivotal to early societies. They were sacred, but they can also be deadly. Victorma de las Sanchaceros and her two children lost their lives trying to enter the USA. Unfortunately, every year thousands more lose their lives in this process. But what if we're the ones forcing them to migrate here? In order to truly understand the migrant crisis, as well as its interdependence and complexity, we have to see it from different perspectives. For example, previous research has shown that international trade flows determine the domestic economies of Latin American countries. Upon analyzing the long-term net trade between the USA and Latin America, the statistically significant results demonstrate that net increases in the flow of trade with Latin America cause increases in the aggregate migration here to the USA, as shown by figure three. Moreover, the demand for drugs in the USA is intense. However, illegal companies, also known as narco cartels, prefer to operate across Latin America, utilizing land, agricultural resources, and violence to supply the USA drug demand. Previous research shows the marijuana trade between the USA and Mexico provides significant profits to these cartels, that the cartels are a major fear of Mexican nationals, and their violence motivates migration. Previous research also establishes that border states which legalize marijuana have a significant decrease in their violent crime rates. As a result, I conducted a linear regression to compare the amount of states legalizing marijuana in the USA to the net flow of Mexican nationals migrating here. The statistically significant results demonstrate an intense correlation between the amount of states legalizing marijuana in the USA and a net decrease in the flow of Mexican nationals migrating here, as shown by figure two. Unfortunately, previous research has failed to motivate policy changes. However, there is a partisan cost inherent in every year spent without an increase in visas. Previous research shows that Border Patrol apprehensions are causally related to increases in conservative self-identification. I extended this research until 2021, while validating previous findings. From 1990 to 2021, the rise in Border Patrol apprehensions resulted in an increase in conservative self-identification. Therefore, the partisan benefits from policy stagnation are highly one-sided, benefiting the conservative party at the cost of the liberal one. This is shown in figure one. Therein, it's also illogical to say that Victorma de la Sancha Ceros lost her life because of a personal choice. When our international trade policies, our marijuana laws, and our demand for drugs are what made her leave her home. Rivers of resources can thus be used to dictate the fertility of paths in life. Or they can be used as a turn for migration, sweeping away lives, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the process. The choice is ours to make. Thank you for your time.